Hi, my name is Amrita and recently I made a video on how to dress our children appropriately for the German fall or herbst season. And I just want to thank you all for watching that video and for liking and commenting and for the many messages that I've received. Thank you so much for the positive feedback and the support. And a lot of you asked me to do videos on many different topics and I will try my best to do some research and provide those videos uh, for you. Uh, one of the suggestions from many mothers was uh, about skincare, uh, what kind of skincare products to use uh, on children during this cold season. So in today's video, I just want to share some tips and hacks and maybe show you some products that I use for my children, especially in this uh, cold season. And I hope that it will be useful for you too. So before I start, I just want to say that I am not a dermatologist. I am also not a skincare expert or professional, and I am definitely not promoting any products or stores in this video. I am just sharing uh, my tips and uh, things that work for my children. And I hope that you will just use this information as, you know, like a framework for skin care for little ones. And you know your kid's skin the best. So I hope that this will be useful for you more as general information and not as any kind of advertisement or product promotion. Now, the basic thing that I look for when I buy any products for my children's skin is that it should be as less chemical uh, or have the least chemical ingredients as possible. So I look for products that have no artificial colors, no perfume, no microplastic, no silicone, no parabens, um, as natural as possible. And the nice thing is that here in Germany, you find these kind of products in almost all of the stores like Rossmann, DM, Müller, and they are affordable, they're good brands, and you can find something for each uh, child's skin type. I have three children and they all have different uh, skin types. Um, some of the products I find in, in Rossmann and they have, you know, certain special brands for sensitive skin um, there are some kids who might have even more sensitive skin and you might also find good products in the apotheker and i'll mention a few brands later on in the video but most generally you know the point of skincare for children is not to you know correct any wrinkles or fine lines like for us older people but it's more of protection so in the summer you use sunscreen with a certain amount of spf in the colder seasons you use skincare to help protect from the wind and the cold and also from the dry air you know in the house when you start heating now so the point of skincare for children is really about protecting their skin and providing kind of a barrier on their skin to keep away the, the forces of uh, the weather so if you are new to Germany and are wondering what kind of products should I use for my children and where to get them, as I <clears throat> always say, you know, you can get really good affordable products in DM, in Rossmann, in Müller, and each of these stores have their own store brands, which are also very good quality. But there are three brands that I would recommend to anyone who is just starting off uh, buying products for their children. And I recommend these products uh, or these brands because they have, for me, withstood the test of time. Because these are brands that I used as a child or my parents used on me and my sister as children. And I use them on my children. And the brands are Penaten, Babel and Hip. Um, these have been around for so long and something must be uh, good about them that they've been around for uh, so many years. So if you're starting off just wondering what to buy, where to buy, uh, start off with these three brands or just the, the local brands of Rossmann that's called Baby Dream and for DM it's called Baby Love. These are also very good um, quality products. You can test and see if it um, suits your child. So let's talk about skincare after bath or a shower. This is uh, something, you know, we as Indians are so used to taking a shower or a bath every day, if not twice a day, but we don't have to do that here in Germany. 
and the kinder arts or the hebam or the midwife will recommend to you not to bathe your child more than two or three times a week uh, and that it's not good for the skin of the child so you don't have to give them a daily bath but when you do uh, make sure that you tap them down and don't dry them off completely because you want to keep a little bit moisture on the skin and then give them a nice oil massage um, i usually use this uh, calendula uh, oil i really like um, the name calendula but it's also uh, really good for the skin it moisturizes the skin and protects the skin and this is actually all you need for like babies or really young children um, just giving them this kind of oil i also have a calendula a cream a lotion that i use for my smallest one it is without any perfume without any silicone and has very little if not na no chemicals and i would suggest an oil be it calendula or almond oil or coconut oil whatever it is a nice oil massage after every bath is great for the kids skin let's talk about uh, products that you use for the bath or for showering now for little babies you can use um, anything like a hip or baby bud this is something that we have been using since our kids were babies um, they are very gentle very neutral smelling i would say um, but my kids my older kids have a little bit more sensitive skin so i've been using this um, wash gel uh, wash shampoo from this brand called seba med seba med is a really good uh, brand to use if your your kid's skin is, is very sensitive it's very dry and needs you know a little bit more attention try out seba med it's really a nice product that i would recommend um zante is another uh, vegan brand my oldest kid likes this because uh, he can read and so this is something he does he sits in the bathtub and he reads this and he likes this bottle but i personally like zante it's a vegan uh, all natural bio organic brand and it doesn't have any perfume and they're also recyclable bottles i um like using this actually myself also all right and now on to some uh, skin care for the face now my older kids they are at that stage where they'll brush their teeth wash their face and they'll put cream on their face and i'm so glad they're at that um, stage in their life that i'm not fighting to put uh, oil on them or cream on them and they use uh, this cream from bibshen um, it also has calendula it's organic and I really like it because it has pretty much the same um, ingredients like Veleda. Veleda is, however, more expensive, but Bibshin is a lot more affordable. And the way my kids use it, I, I go through these very uh, quickly. But it's uh, something um, that has... Um, Mo that that keeps the moisture in in the face and protects them from the cold now you don't need to use actually any of this um, my husband does not believe in skincare he says that melkafet <laughs> and vaseline is all you need and quite honestly sometimes i think that's all you need for children because you just want that barrier you know you just want to give their skin some protection from the cold from the wind from the dryness around and um, sometimes that's all all you need some good old-fashioned milk effect vaseline and this is something i apply for my kids around the mouth on the lips around the nose um, because i've noticed that they always are rubbing you know their snotty noses and their mouths on their sleeves and so it really does dry up the area around the mouth the area around the nose and of course in this season where you're constantly having runny noses and colds you know when you're using the tissue a lot you really do dry up this area so actually vaseline and milk effect, which is pretty much the same thing they really are uh, lifesavers in that regard if you um, had kids in in the pandemic time and had the experience of having to get them to wash their hands and uh, wash it every time they go out and every time they come in and 10 times in between you know that it was not fun and the only way to make it more fun is to buy hand washes and hand stuff that is excitable for kids and frosh that's what i bought it's a this is something that we used during the pandemic the bottle is fun i think that's why the kids like it they're like animals on it there are other 
the hand soap which have like bubbles and all that stuff which is perfectly fine but it gets the job done gets them to wash their hands for 20 30 seconds and frosh frosh is a brand that i really use not just for my kids' hand but it's a brand that i use for uh, cleaning products they are they are um, natural and organic and i really would recommend this to anyone who has kids who really need to wash their hands uh, on a regular basis now just coming uh, to babies for a second it's been a while since i've actually had a really tiny baby but i remember that skincare especially around the diaper area is something that is really important uh, to keep that area dry to air it out to make sure that it doesn't get rashes or get red and i remember using a lot of this um calendula um baby cream it's a wundschutz cream and you use it um, in for the diaper area it keeps it uh, dry and calendula also protects and um, uh, helps the baby not get rashes um, in that area but sometimes it does happen that kids get diaper rash and when they do i always used um, <clears throat> uh, this wundschutz cream this is a special cream um, that has zinc. Anything with zinc um, has a little bit uh, healing properties. Uh, you get them like this. This is not just for the diaper area, but this is also when kids fall down and they have cuts and bruises on their skin. You can use um, Wundschutz cream or a Wundheil cream or anything that has uh, zinc because zinc is uh, antibacterial and it you know helps in the healing of the skin. Now, one thing I forgot to talk about when we talked about face care was in Germany, you actually do get creams that are called uh, Wind und Wetter cream. So it's really for this crazy weather. Um, and this is really um, something that has almond oil and shea butter, again, just for the protection of the skin. The other thing that I wanted to mention um, that I think is really important is the clothes of your kids. You know, they are really touching the skin. So you want to make sure that the, the detergent that you're using is also, you know, kid friendly, that it is for made for sensitive uh, skin. And I really would recommend <clears throat> um, Frosch. This is something that I use for babies. It's hypoallergenic, uh, doesn't smell like nothing. And it's um, it's good for for the clothes and as your kids are going to be touching um, this cloth it's really good to have something that has no microplastic or silicone or perfume on it so fresh okay i think i have um talked about most of the products that i use for my kids the only one other thing is uh, anika salve as you can see it's something that we use very often anika salve is made from anika bluten auszug and uh, this is something when your kids have like, you know, they fell down and their, their leg hurts or their muscles hurt. This is a good cream to use to kind of massage them. It's um, good for muscle pain or for, for leg pain. And it's natural, it's organic and definitely something that every household with children should have. All right, friends, I think uh, that was it. I think I've given a very good overview of uh, what we could use for our children. Um, all these products you can get in Rossmann, DM, Müller, in the Apotheker. You get different brands like Eucerin or uh, Cetaphil. These are brands that are made for kids that have more sensitive skin. You know, you will notice that in, in the colder seasons, kids can get dry, especially around the elbows. They get a little bit patchy on the cheeks because these are the areas that are exposed um, to the cold weather. So don't worry about it. Just keep them moist, moistened with these uh, creams that are, that are natural with natural oils free from, from chemicals, and our kids will make it through uh, this school season. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do leave your comments and your suggestions are always most welcome. I thank you for watching and I wish you a very healthy and a warm cold season.